beyond producing software that tries to bring societal value out of uh, differential privacy. Really, I think of this as a community effort um, to channel our, our collective advances on the science and practice of differential privacy, where we can really come together to work on all aspects uh, and all the challenges that arise when bringing differential privacy to practice. And I think that's very much reflected in the program over the next few days. Now I've lost clicking. Okay, so um, uh, thanks to um, the many organizations that that sponsor and uh, support our work and collaborate with us, um, it's still the case that the uh, majority of our funding comes from the Sloan Foundation and the National U.S. National Science Foundation. Um, we are uh, grateful to. Uh, a uh, number of companies in industry um, that have uh, contributed to our work through through gifts um, to support OpenGP in general and specifically to support the community meeting. And uh, we have a number of uh, uh, organizations that we collaborate closely with um, on particular use cases and software that I'll talk about uh, a little bit later. Uh, the leadership, the core team of uh, OpenDP, um, shown here, I'm joined uh, by Gary King um, in leading OpenDP. Um, I won't go through all the, the names, but just want to highlight the, the new folks on the team. Light here. Um, Mike Shoemate has been on the team uh, from the beginning, but he is now the lead architect on the OpenDP. Uh, library, and you'll be hearing a lot from him over the next couple of days, and really the expert to go to on our implementations of differential privacy. Um, Nina Wattenberg has recently joined us as community coordinator. Chuck McCallum as a uh, soft on the uh, develop dev team, and uh, Vikram Singhal and Chike Abua joined in the last year um, as research associates. Um, and. Uh, as, as always, we're also grateful and uh, benefit a lot from students, interns, uh, people who participate um, in the OpenDP uh, Fellows Program, and uh, members of other project teams at Harvard that contribute to our work. So uh, thanks to all of them. And uh, we are still uh, continue to be very grateful to our advisory board, many of whom have been uh, advising us uh, and serving the project from its inception, led by uh, Jerome McLeod and Adam, Adam Smith, um, many thought leaders in data privacy, open source software, the, some of the fields in which we're trying to bring applications of differential privacy and um, tech industry and so on. Okay, so I'm not gonna give, try to give kind of a detailed uh, picture of like everything that's going on in OpenDP, but just give a very high level picture and you'll hear more details over the next couple of days. And I just wanna focus on some of the things that are new in the last year. So the software, the OpenDP library has reached a much more uh, mature state and we're really excited about it. It's really ready to be brought to prime time in, in many more applications. Uh, some of that comes from uh, uh, some, some of the items listed here, the integrations, uh, the the, so the data frame support that's coming with the integration with the Polars library, um, lots of improvements in usability, thanks to uh, feedback from you all at the hackathon we had last year and um, uh, other input that we've received. Um, you can now use OpenDP from R if you're an R user rather than a, a Python user. Um, it's uh, available as a package on R universe. We have uh, much more and hopefully better organized documentation to make things easier to use. There's more mechanisms, there's more proofs attached to mechanisms in the library. And Im importantly, there's a, a very nice plugin system um, to extend the library functionality by wrapping functions from other libraries or things that you write yourself. And so kind of OpenDP can kind of in interoperate with any other differential privacy tools that you trust. And so Mike will talk more about many of these things in the technical update later this morning. Um, we're also 
Uh, excited about OpenDP being brought to more um, use cases uh, and uh, um, in and closer to production. Uh, one is the digital applications index that uh, uh, done uh, with Microsoft that Mayana Pereira will talk about uh, tomorrow. Um, uh, last year, if you were at the community meeting, you heard about some of the projects we have underway with the Swiss federal statistical offices that continue uh, continue to advance and have informed a lot of our development in the library, like the um, Polar's integration. Um, Oblivious um, has uh, developed a platform, Anti-Granular, uh, for running data privacy competitions. Uh, kind of a sandbox for for uh, running such com competitions, and OpenDP is one of the libraries that integrates with that. And OpenMind has integrated OpenDP into PySift, and which in turn has been brought is I believe in in production use in a number of use cases. Um, but we would like to see more. That's really a priority for us in the in the coming months and, and year is to really scale up the use cases. And we want our development to be informed by use cases. And the only way that can happen is that if we know how people are using uh, OpenDP or how people want to use OpenDP. And you know, if there's some feature that's missing that would enable your use case, we want to know about it. And we can try to work with you on um, getting that added. Um, here at the community meeting, um, we should really celebrate um, the uh, really tremendous increase over the last year in uh, community contributions from outside the core team. Uh, so we've had a number of like pretty substantial increase in contributions of code, um, mathematical proofs for components of the library and documentation from outside the core team. Uh, we have members of the community that Sharon will talk about in more detail, serving on a number of committees, uh, the program committee for this community meeting, uh, the contest uh, that we are, we are in the midst of running with uh, data.org uh, on privacy enhancing technologies for public health, uh, and then the community working groups um, that are open for anyone to join, uh, one on educational materials for differential privacy. There's now a re repository of educational materials that um, we would like to see grow. So if you know of other things that should be added, um, you should uh, make a, a pull request. And then the privacy tax and auditing working group that'll have a breakout session. Um, I will also talk about later how the privacy proof review board is now formed and will start operation. And then we're really um, thrilled to have a couple of sessions in this community meeting um, that were really bottom up community suggested by the community, um, one on teaching applied differential privacy and one on differential privacy beyond algorithms. So looking forward to many more. And again, um, this, these, some of the best ones are the bottom up ones where the ideas come from the community and you sort of self organize and we help coordinate. All right, so let me just conclude, say uh, a little bit about um, priorities for the coming year. Uh, we really want it to be influenced by what we learn in this community meeting and, and gathering your input. So um, uh, do engage and, and speak up. Uh, we, as I said, we really want more uh, deployments of bringing OpenDP to production use cases and have that be driving our development priorities. Continue to grow the community contributions. Um, and uh, we would like to provide more machine learning support for OpenDP. And so we are looking for, we're in the process of um, uh, trying to raise funding uh, for efforts in that direction and also looking for use cases and partners to work with on that. Um, and we continue to work on what is the sort of long-term sustainability um, of this community project and open source software projects have many different ways to sustain themselves. And we're looking at a number of different models so that um, we aren't solely reliant on the kind of every year um, raising new grant funding uh, for the for the project. All right, so uh, let me conclude these opening remarks just saying enjoy, I uh, hope you all enjoy the meeting and continue to stay engaged, not just in these two days, but over the over the coming year. So make sure you're on our mailing list, you join the Slack, you join channels uh, that relate to anything uh, that you're interested in and stay in constant dialogue uh, with our team so, so we can best serve uh, this community. All right, so uh, let me- Good. So my name is Sharon.